Um, you know, I don't really need all this area. There we go. So go truck over something there. And we'll also start harvesting. Our chorus fruits, flowers. There's that. There we go. Bam. Bam. Is that all of them? No, one more. Alrighty, gather them all up. Yeah, man, don't uh, don't knock him. Alfred the Salmon is a good security chief. Shut up, Van. I want to be air on the side of caution. You. How long until he notices that he can get a big snake name to me? How long until you notice that you're a butt? Yeah, I went there. There we go, this should give me four. How is my dysprosium doing? Oh, we almost have enough. Okay. And lutetium? Uh, 32 of it. Oh, good. Stay forever. Hey, welcome back, Gimme. Miss Motorhead. to grow. Sand. If I can just go ahead and compress this into sandstone. Can you do this the same thing? No, you can't do that. But silicon dioxide I can. Ho ho ho. Tech, you're right. You keep trying. There you go. How coarse fruits. Okay. More purple blocks. Break it down. Come on. Yes. Thank you, law of averages. sandstone Come 
Mister? Okay. Mr. Gemi. If you could so be named. Alright. Stone's going well. The gem Jimmy is for gemstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dysprosium? 81. Excellent. Lutetium? Yes. All right, what we got? Done and done. And now, make a nether star. Oh my goodness. Okay, here comes the, the, the end will be all of it. So Dysprosium. Lutetium. Mendelevium. Then titanium. Then rhodium. I don't have rhodium. Why do I not have rhodium? Oh, did I leave it in the thing? No. <laughs> Where did it go? I have it marked. But where is it? Okay, this is strange. Why do I not have a rhodium? I made it. I I know I did. Or did I just make one? No, I, I would still have it. What in the heck? I made it. I know I did. You saw in the last stream. Okay. Well, could I combine and make rhodium? Oh. It's 45, so half of 45 is going to be. Uh, Just for the bar IS and TMP. Oh, thank you, Gemmy. Appreciate that. Sorry, Jemmy. Thank you for the $5 tip. Just so the bar isn't empty. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you. It's 26, isn't it? No, 45, half 45 is 23. No, I have to, oh, so 90. It's thorium I need. I need to dissolve thorium. I need to dissolve thorium. Because this is a fission controller. It's not a fusion controller. So I can't... I can't fuse the stuff. I need to fissile. It needs to be fissile. It needs to be defizzed. Defizzed. Alright. That's better. Good nighter. 16 of it, too. Sweet. Silver, lead, iron, which try to grow. Defizzed.
Yeah, rhodium is the can, it's a can of thorium left out overnight. It's been defizzed. Rhodium is just flat thorium. That's all. All right, and then I need hydrogen. One, two, three, four. And then, nether star. Boop, 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 boop. Ta-da! I made a thing! And now I've unlocked the fusion controller. I use this with the induction smelter. It's just that, okay. Oh boy. All right, so that will not the nether star. So we could, could eventually go to fusion, which is great. Now, I need to make a dimension out of a user created dimension out of a realized dimension tab. So, dimension builder, two eyes of vendor, emerald, and enderium. I don't think I have enderium, do I? I don't. Enderium. So, I need to make enderium, which means I need to alloy lead, resident ender, and platinum. Need some amatrine to stop being lazy and send it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Honestly. Be cool though. But with how things are, I wouldn't worry about sending it. Okay. Uh Ender Pearls do not smelt. So Ender, how do I get Resident Ender? Is that to, do I have to Magma Crucible it? I think so. Yep. Magma Crucible. And then I bucket it. Sounds good, Jimmy. Liberally, and then we can take out the stone. Level. Take the water drone. Long. 
that guy up there. And then, oh, oh, no. One over. Him goes there. And then put that guy there. Put this guy right here. And that will be the... Okay, good. Random science fact. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this is a uh, cloning science fact. Uh, tissue culture propagation is done by breaking up specialized roots and collecting the root cells in a rich culture. The plants that grow are identical to the originals. There you go. I was working with plant um, plant roots. So you take the roots of a plant and then you uh, propagate them. You cut them up into little bits and then put them into culture. And you get that. And there you go. Oh, that one's one. Right. So, resident ender. I got. One bucket makes one thing of endearium. Okay. So there's the endearium. So now I just need more shiny metal. Platinum ore, platinum, andesite. There's a form of, uh, of cloning uh, It's like grafting. It's not quite cloning because you're taking different plants and splicing them together, but the results are that you get a plant with uh, two different kinds of plants on it, which is kind of cool when you think about it. Um, or just you, you split up the, uh, the plant so that uh, you can take like a piece of it and grow it elsewhere. We actually did that with our um, with our fig tree at my parents' house. We had a big old fig tree. It's huge, absolutely huge. And um, the previous owners had a pole driven like right next to it, and it had a canopy kind of setup. And what they would do is they would spread out a net and wrap it tight around the base. And that's so that it would catch all the figs when the figs are ripe and they drop. It produces every two years or so. Um, but we took the pole down, we took everything down, and we had just this fig tree that would drop figs, and it's great. Um, and they were fresh. They were really, really good figs, big, fat, big, fat figs. And uh, my dad's friend from work, uh, she wanted some figs, and she wanted to grow her own fig tree. So... Um, we prepared a, uh, a a branch of it for graft, and uh, she took cutting off of it and grew her own fig tree. That's pretty neat. Some pretty cool stuff. Uh, dimension builder, yeah. What do I got? Nothing. Okay. Machine frame. Got that. Eye vendor. Got that. Emerald. Chromium barrel and vanadium. How much barrel? Eight. Barrel. Brillium, aluminum. Alright, we're making granite. Granite. This 
be good, actually, now that I think about it. Um, rich fighter grow. Some more of that for this thing. Peach in a plum tree. Nice. I've always felt grafting is kind of weird. I mean, it, it makes sense, but I found it kind of strange that it actually works. Because it's basically like you basically take off your arm and you attach it to someone else while they still have their arm. And it works. And it's fully functional. It's weird. It's essentially what grafting is. Like deep down in the roots, it's it's science fictiony. Yet it's been done for thousands of years. Far than out. Um So it's not like it's anything new. It's just grafting. That's pretty crazy, though. When you think about it. Okay. We got dark oak. We're gonna sawmill it. Get some more sap. Get some free fire to grow. That's gonna be all good. Uh, how is this coming? All the granite. Okie dokie. Make some polished granite. Because Papa needs some beryllium. There we go. Okay. So barrel is three beryllium, two aluminum, six silicon, and 18 oxygen. Oxygen we have tons of. Silicon we have not so much actually. So I better dissolve some of this. Silicon dioxide. Making a Frankenstein tree with multiple fruits on it? Yeah. You definitely could. Tray is the laws of science, but no, it works. Just kidding, that's what you laws of. It's natural. You can do it. Or was it natural? It's realm of possibility. Okay. So we got that. How's our beryllium looking? 95. Okay. So beryllium, aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. Get multiples of it, and we're gonna make barrel queen barrel of Sailor Moon. Let's watch it in there and silicone. Okay, we got some stuff. Not much, but it'll do. It'll do in a pinch. So barrel mixes with chromium and vanadium. Three emeralds. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Emeralds of the three variety. 
emeralds. Okay. And then we go to mention builder. Let's go with that. We got some Enderium. Slap that thing in there. Bam, we got a dimension builder. Okay. This thing eats up power like a mofo, so we're gonna put this. There's a cable there. Well then, we skip the cable. So, do do do. up it's all about efficient cable management you know except when I goof it That should have power. Yeah, it's getting it. And that will be where the dimwood stuff is. So now I'm all I'm gonna need is I am going to oh uh actually need to replace a piece. I didn't use it. Man. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Next up in the list. You have to mention Builder, bam, bam, bam. Uh, uh, okay. Dimensional shards. I seem to recall... I didn't get any? Oh, okay. Well then. Ooh, but I EFL ends. Dimlets. Everyone's favorite thing. Okay. Okay. What do we have? Uh, 
need a Dimlet Workbench. Of course it needs power. So to get Dimensional Ore, I need to go and create a Dimension. So, in our Dimension building, uh, let's see. You want to create your own worlds? Explore Unshattered and blah, 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 blah. Require power to run. Ugh. Let's see. Poor embarking adventure, forming your own world, supports to understand how dimensions work. The first thing important to understand is that the worlds you create are not necessarily unique. It's a pattern of code used to create one world. Using the same pattern, we'll create the same world again. When you enter the first world and make changes, the changes will appear in the second as well. Not just assemble dissensions, but enter the exact same ones later with the changes you've made still there, provided you use the exact same code. Okay. Uh, normally, we create completely random. You know, flying in Skyroll to a huge cave, midnight or midday. Kids creating a good world aren't working in your favor. You can create your own world to dimlets. Okay. Blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. Uh, we're gonna do this. There's a higher chance to find them in your custom dimensions. And then we got dimlets. Could we have worlds? And we'll cover ancient structures. We want some value to find dimlets in there. Okay. Yeah, blah de blah. How do I actually make. How do I make the damn thing? Okay. Now you have dimlet parts, you wake up make dimlets. Use the work bench, you can deconstruct dimlets with our better components and reconstruct the new dimlets. Um, every dimlet's making a circuit. The parts, base item, control circuit, energy module, memory module, type controller, essence item. Right tiered, memory part, there's one control circuit for every rarity, three levels of energy and memory. Now, can I just take All of these. Can I just take them and put them in the workbench? Is that the thing? Oh my god, it is. Crafting. One to create a biome. You need to place the biome over the forest biome. It will fill up with the essence of the biome. Then place the last lot of the workbench along with the pieces of the dimlet. Each of the biome, forest dimlet. Uh, time, the right time. Get right something you'll trust at the right time. It'll be done ten times. Okay, so Yeah. Dimension and subscriber is what I need to code the damn thing. Okay. So dimension inscriber. Uh I need more steel. Steel again. Uh, sand of that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, pulverized coal with iron. Uh, iron. That's right. Okay. So, uh, Smelter goes there, Polarizer goes there. This is gonna be... So we're gonna lock. We're gonna lock it, and then this goes in here. So that should keep this nice and full.
There you go. Okay. Good. Get some more steel. So that's going. Uh, dimension tab. And the inscriber itself, ink sacks. Titanium oxide. Titanium oxide. Ruthenium? No, technetium. I have some technetium. I can use that. I'm going to break the technetium down into ruthenium. Oh, I also have brother uh, rhodium, so I can do, break that down into uh, from rhodium or titanium. Okay. So we got that. We got that. Titanium oxide is titox. Two and three. Titanium oxide. Bam, bam. Give me a couple of those. And then ink sacks is four. Hmm. How can I get more squids? How can I get more squids? Because it needs ink sacks. Squid morb. Black dye. Black artificial dye will do it. Black wool pulverized will result in black pigment. Black pigment. Uh, concrete powder. Oh, no, it's disabled. Black wool. If I had sheep, I could do that. Or I just find some. Oh, God. Alright, squids. Um. My Y is too high. I can't generate squids here. Is there another dimension I can do with it, though? Is the only other way to do it just by chemicaling, sciencing myself up some ink sacks? I guess so. I guess I gotta science the crap out of this. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Give me some rhodium. We're, we're cooking with rhodium now. I don't have any titanium oxide just lying around. Alrighty, there we go. So, titanium, pop it in here. And then we're going to get the rest of the titanium out, oxygen out. And we're going to go to this thing, we're going to make titanium oxide. 
which is black, even though titanium oxide is technically a white pigment, as far as I understand. I believe this to be the case. And there we go. Bam. Okay, two ink sacks. And scriber. Get all the parts, now just need the steel, and we can make the inscriber. So I think it's a white pigment. I don't really know because in Warhammer uh, 40k they would use uh, titanium white. And also in uh, Bob Ross stuff, The Joy of Painting, they also were titanium. Okay, uh, so we got that. Inscriber. Uh, first, insert the NC Dimension tab in the lower left to make complete random worlds. Click store, and it will generate the things. So we put this guy in here, hit store, and it makes a random world. Then, when you control your engine, you put the dim ones in, you can the uh, slots, okay. Order affects the dimension. If materials place before terrain, Create a world made out of that uh, material. And insert before a feature and make a feature out of that material. Create a dimension, uh, plant a dimension with the tabs, okay. And if access to the dimension needed again, dimension reformed, okay. You mentioned the same as the dimlets, they can do it by using digit dimlets. These have no power costs, allow you to infinitely vary your dimensions just based on the digit dimlets included. Easily crafted and cycle between so you can vary your worlds, okay. Uh, maintenance got tick cost, okay. Dimension builder is what we use. We can realize tab. So we do that. So we pop this bad boy into here, and he will realize our dimension. And this dimension now has a set amount of power in it stored. That maintains at 15 RF per tick. Okay. So now, how do we get there? We need the RF tools teleportation system. At the time the dimension is created, Dimension Builder also generates a spawn platform with the matter receiver at the end. This receiver is fully charged, so it takes safe to teleport there. After creating the dimension, you need to use a dialing device to dial a matter dimension to the dimension. Okay. If you gave your dimension tab a name, uh, that just told me name like that. Don't teleport there yet. A few things to worry about. You need power. Your dimension builder is feeding power into the dimension. As long as the builder is chunk loaded, you're near it, and all is fine. As soon as you teleport, it may be un unloaded with no new point. Okay. So make sure the power is going into it. This is area is chunk loaded, and we have power going in, so it has a whole bunch of power stored. Okay, we're fine there. Good. Um. Also, a large buffer. Uh, getting back, there's no, there is a retriever, but there's no a receiver. There's no transmitter, so we need a transmitter, fully power it, and dial it to a nearby matter. Trans receiver, pick up with a wrench. It'll keep its settings. So when you put it down in that dimension, it will still have power. I'm gonna give it back. So, we need to, first off, put this guy in here. Uh, what we need to do is we need to make a matter receiver. Oh, we need some gold. Two of that, there we go. Uh, and... There's a receiver. Transmitter. We'll make two of these and a dialing device. Uh, 
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this bad boy right there. My ice maker is making more ice. It's making ice crashy sounds. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Okay. So the matter receiver is there and it's set. So this is home base. Okay. So we got that one. Now, under the same vein. We'll put a transmitter there. This is home base. Okay, so that will now take me to there. So let me see here. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. okay, getting back. Put the transmitter in your base, fully power it, and dial it to a nearby matter receiver. Then pick it up with a wrench. You'll keep the settings so that when you put it down in the other dimension, it'll off power, be able to get back in it. Okay. So then I'm gonna get a wrench. Or a crescent hammer. And we are going to wrench this. Just go poop. And now we have. Let's fully power the sucker. Interrupt, and then dial to the overworld. Step on it. I'm now here. Okay. So now it's dialed into the home base, so I can come back home with that. We're drinking. Oh, it's the last of my um, my shake. So then. That's actually, that's actually kind of cool. Um, X. The teleporting thing is actually kind of cool. I like that. This is portal home. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pop that off now. This should be enough power. And then we're going to pop this up here. This is uh, launch pad. We're gonna call it launch pad. Then we're gonna take launch pad and key it to ID three, the dimension, and that should be that. Now, is there anything else you need to worry about? Got that. We have plenty of power in the dimension. Okay, so once that's done, we need to get some dimensional charges at diamond level, 
Uh, and I think... I think that's it. Let's go check out our... Uh, our dimension. Here we go. Oh. Not enough power to start teleport. Okay. How much does it need? Does it need 100,000? Yep. Here we go. Ah. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Um, not enough power to teleport. So, let's keep charging this guy up. How long does he fully charged then? It was rough, I know. Um, we're, we're running on minimum on power too, so let's get some more Eye of Ender. Okay, I actually just make just I have plenty of blaze rods. Just, just smash them. I of Ender. Bam. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. Split the stack. Split that stack. And I'm going to give you stack of that all right Just now we're getting more power okay let's pop them off so we get our way home the launch pad's almost full here we go Excuse me? That's not cows. Roll will passively give me wither? Oh, you gotta be button me. Alright. In we go. Grab the stuff, put down the portal home, and get the heck out. healing it I, oh I died okay okay at least I was out free that was awful so taking that out
Well, there we go. That's it. I'm done for the night. I'm going to wrap it up here for now. Guys, I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. Appreciate it very, very much. Um, I, I'm just going to leave that there. This is the poop dimension. Um, actually, can I go ahead and disassemble this? Can I just un undo the dimension? Can I extract? Nothing's in it. Perfect. Excellent. We'll try something different. Oh, of course. It's still three, so we can't do that. So I'll put that back in there. All right. Well, that's the, the the place that sucks in Windows U for no reason. So we'll leave that alone. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I want to give a shout out, a huge thank you to Jemmy for the tip, final tip. I also want to say thank you a whole bunch to Mark Mercer for the 500 bits. Oh, sorry, 510 bits, and the brand new tier one sub. Uh, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I'll be streaming again tomorrow night. We'll be playing with Sarah. We'll be streaming with Sarah tomorrow at 6 o'clock Pacific time. And uh, so we'll be playing something together. You, I hope you guys will like it. It should be pretty fun. We played it a while back, but we're going to play it again because some changes have gone in. And it's nice to hang out with Sarah. I like hanging out with Sarah. I miss her. I, like, I miss her so much. So we're going to we're gonna play together and be kind of cool. So, uh, also... On Thursday, we'll be streaming with Sarah again. We'll be playing some ARC. It'll be a lot of fun. So hope look forward to seeing you guys there. And then, of course, we'll be dream, stream, doing even more streams on Friday and Saturday. So hope you guys join me then. Uh, we'll stream with the squad on our Minecraft servers for the patrons. So, uh, again, guys, thank you very much. And I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. And enjoy yourselves. Don't go too crazy because of the lockdown slash quarantine slash COVID crap going on. Love you guys, and see you later. Bye, everyone. Bye, Jemmy. Bye, Dustin. Bye, Drag Dragon. Bye, everybody. Peace out. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.